What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be tying up this Stonefly variant uh, with some nice rubber legs on it. I've been fishing this over the last couple weeks and I've had a lot of success with it. Um, a couple of people on my Instagram wanted me to uh, do a fly tying tutorial. So I thought it would be a perfect time to do it now uh, since the steelhead season's here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the hook I have in the vise right now is a Mustad Caddis Curved Hook. Um, this is in a size 8. You can tie these all the way down to a 14, um, but for steelhead I usually like to stay around the 10 to 8 um, for stoneflies. The bead I have in there is just a 532nd black nickel bead, and the thread I'm going to be using is UTC 70 denier in olive. So the first thing we're going to do is actually pull our bead back and get a couple thread wraps. You want to bring your thread right back up to the uh, eye. Cut out the tag in. The first material we're going to be putting in is uh, goose biots, and these are in a olive color. So I, I like to uh, tie these in one at a time, just so I can get my desired length. You want to try to keep um, not too many thread wraps up here because you don't want to make a big bulge so the bead can't get back over. So it looks like that. So they splay away from each other. Now I'm going to come in and just cut the butts off them. We're getting our whip finish tool and I'm going to whip finish over the butts so it's kind of like a smooth transition. All you have to do is like three or four just to cover those butts up. Cut that out. Um, then we're going to get some Loon Outdoors UV clear fly finish and this is in the thin. And I'm just going to put a little dab right on top of the threads. Don't need much. Then I'm going to come in with my little needle here. Just kind of spread it out over those thread wraps so they don't go anywhere. I'm just going to cure that quick. 15, 20 seconds. And now the bead goes right over. That's why it's important to uh, keep this kind of um, not beefy. The less turns of thread, the better. So once the bead's up, you can re tie in, take a couple thread wraps, cut out the tag. I usually put the hook like that if I'm tying in uh, goose biots. You want to take it down a quarter, about a quarter down the bend. Then we're going to be tying in our tail section, and it's going to be the same goose biots in the olive color. I've always tied these in one at a time. I know some people do it two at a time and they're really good at it, but I've tried and I just, I don't like how it looks. I like them perfect down the side and how they splay out. I just can't get it by putting them in together. So I'm just going to bring my thread back up bind these biots down a bit. You can see how they splay away from each other there. Now I'm just going to cut the butts out. Clean that up a bit. Now the next material we're going to be putting in is the rib. And this is um, 
pretty much just a French uh, tinsel in uh, medium. I'm just going to tie it on the side of the hook facing me. Bring that down. All right, for dubbing, I am using this uh, SLF spiky dubbing. Squirrel. And this color is brown olive. This stuff's actually really nice. It dubs really nice too. So I'm just gonna start dubbing the body. You wanna put the stuff in fairly thin. Dub's really nice too. Just want to build up a little taper. Keep your body up to the top here. A little bit more. I'm just gonna go a little pinch more. So build this up a bit. There we go. Now we're gonna take our tinsel to start making open spiral wraps up the body. Tie it off. Snip that out. Next we're going to be tying in is the wing case. And for the wing case, I'm using thin skin in a olive color with um, the black. I'm pretty sure it's called like model or something like that. But it looks really nice. So I'm just gonna cut a little, a little section out here. It's about an eighth, eighth of an inch. When I tie this in, I usually tie it. Um, there's a shiny side and a dull side. And you want to tie it in the si the shiny or the dull side down, so the shiny side's sticking up. Just gonna tie that in. Now we're gonna get our dubbing. Start building up the thorax a bit. I usually like to dub back over the uh, the the where the body ends. That's why I go a little bit further 
when I am putting the uh, the body in. As I know I'm going to dub back over it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of dubbing in just like that. Now we're going to put our legs and our legs are going to be size medium olive. This is a rubber leg with black uh, black stripes on it. I'll just take about two two inch pieces. Put one on this side. Put one on this side. Wrench that down a bit. Now I'm gonna grab my dubbing again. And I'm gonna dub in between these. And what this does, it will kind of splay them out and keep them kind of the back ones prop back and the front ones prop forward. Kind of see there that it's starting to, the legs are starting to splay out a little bit. two legs Just like that now you can pull your thin skin over tie that down a couple wraps over it and I'll just put two or three behind the bead. Now you can grab your whip finish tool, do a four or five turn whip finish. Cut out your thread. Cut out the rest of this thin skin here. Now at this point, the fly is done. But what I like to do is put a little bit of UV on top. And for the for this, we're gonna be using the thick Loon Outdoors UV fly finish in thick. We're just gonna build up a little, little bubble. This just adds a lot of uh, durability to the fly. And I just like how it looks once it's all done. And it magnifies the uh, the wing case. The modeled uh, thin skin there. So we're just going to put a little, little guy on top there. Cut out that little fiber. Doesn't want to cooperate. Hit it for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now I'm going to come in with the th with the uh, the thin. I just like to do this just to cover any uh, imperfections because it settles a lot easier. It's a lot easier to move around. So I'm just going to hit that again with the light. Now we're gonna trim our legs here. And for the front legs, I like to keep them a little bit past the, the front uh, biots. So I just cut them right about here, just like that. Then the back one's the same, about the back point of the biots there. Just like that. The 
the legs have a lot of action when it goes through the water and it, it looks really nice once it's going through the water. So there you have it. A little stone fly variant. Hope you liked today's video guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I post photos of all kinds of different um, new patterns that I tie. I'll leave that down in the description. Hope everyone has a nice night. We'll see you in the next one.